Staying with the world of aviation and here Boeing 737 MAX has taken another key step in its comeback to commercial travel after it attempted to reassure the public with a test flight by American Airlines. 737 MAX, the plane, took off for a test flight from Dallas in US with members of news media on board. The plane was grounded for 20 months following two deadly crashes. However, US air safety officials in mid-November cleared the MAX to return to service following changes to plane and pilot training protocols. Boeing also plans to establish an operations center to monitor MAX flights in real time. Based on everything that Boeing has done uh, and the FAA has forced Boeing to do and the involvement of many airlines in these improvements, I believe the 737 MAX will be a safe airplane to fly. I think it's important to note they've, there have been hundreds of thousands of hours spent improving the software. Pilots are now required to go through flight simulator training, which was not required before. They have a lot more control over the plane, including the software, uh, and uh, other improvements have been made. So I, I think that the plane will be safe. Meanwhile, Brazilian authorities, they have also okayed the MAX to fly again. While European officials, they are expected to approve the MAX's return by end of January next year. China remains the main mystery as far as when it expects the MAX to fly again. The test flight undertaken between Americans headquarters in Dallas and its maintenance center in Tulsa is intended to bolster public confidence in the jet. The MAX had been a cash cow for Boeing prior to the Lion Air and Ethiopian Airlines crashes that together claimed 346 lives. And those calamities plunged the aerospace giant into a crisis that was worsened by COVID-19 and its devastating impact on commercial air travel. Investigations identified a principal cause of two crashes as a faulty flight handling system that was supposed to keep plane from stalling as it ascended, but instead forced the nose of the plane downward. Meanwhile, Federal Aviation Administration FAA. It's required Boeing to upgrade this system to address the flaw. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.